Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today is day three of my Candy Kings Marathon. And if you don't know about this marathon, I'm doing a marathon. <laughs> what am I saying? And this marathon is because I reached 2,000 subscribers and I'm also doing a giveaway. You can find the link to my giveaway video on the card section up here and I will link it down below. So anyways, today's video is going to be a skincare routine. This video was requested and I also did a skincare routine a while back and things have changed quite a bit not quite a bit but things have changed since that video I'm using some different products same brand I'm using lush this whole video is gonna be lush products I like to use all-natural skincare um, so yeah that's what's gonna be in this video all-natural skincare the first thing I do I just came home from work so I don't have makeup on I don't wear makeup every single day so this video is not gonna be how I take off my makeup my last skincare video had a makeup take off <laughs> portion so if you want to see how I took my makeup off you can watch that video um, so yeah the first thing I do I came from work I'm sweaty I'm oily disgusting so I'm going to wash my face what I use to wash my face now is this herbalism um, face wash from Lush and I have acne prone skin uh, my skin was doing really really well with the breakouts for a while but lately I have been breaking out um, not crazily but just more than I'm used to so I'm I've gotten into this acne skincare routine to bring that all the way back down like all the way away. okay and since doing this past like a couple of weeks my skin has changed already back to how it was and even better and cleaner and smoother so I'm liking the results which is why I'm making this video so herbalism this is a face and body cleanser it's a gentle herb cleanser with ground almonds to exfoliate and rice vinegar to mop up excess oil and it's helpful for troubled skin i.e acne prone skin what i like about this is that it's self-preserving if you don't know about lush their items expire they're handmade so um they only last a couple of months depending on the item some even last like one month so this one is self-preserving so it has no expiration date even I use it every single day, twice a day, I still like that if I stop using it, it won't expire on me. This is what it looks like. And then you see I have a pimple right here? See that pimple? Disgusting. And then I will show you the inside. It's like a paste or a powder and then you put a little bit of water in it, mix it up and you make like a face wash, like a liquid, scrubbly, delicious. I love it. I absolutely love their face wash. So let's just get on into the first portion, me washing my face right now. Yeah, like the next scene, I'll be washing my face. Washing all of my homies chill with they shorty since the fifth grade. Guess that's part of my story. Don't you feel sorry? Least I get paid. Rather be in my forties telling y'all stories about how I used to roll with my gang. Okay, so now that I've rinsed everything off, I use a clean washcloth. Why don't I put it up on the camera like that? I use a clean washcloth to just pat my face dry. What I love about this cleanser is that my face it leaves a light moisturizer to my face like it feels very softened and very moisturized but it also gets rid of all that excess dirt so the next thing I do is I tone my face I have been using this tea tree water from Lush as a toner a cleansing tea tree estrogen grapefruit and balancing juniper berry keep disasters at bay beneficial for anyone with oily skin I have extremely extremely oily skin so I will use it as a toner twice a day morning and night um, yeah this has also changed so I just put my hair back a couple sprays I don't know how many that was but a couple sprays <clears throat> and then while that's drying I will apply the next product which is definitely optional. This is called Grease Lightning and it's their tea tree and aloe gel. And it's literally like a gel. It's aloe vera gel and it has tea tree oil 
and it has thyme, it has rosemary, it has witch hazel, um, seawater, grape juice, lavender, and all these things help when you're having a breakout. It helps to calm the skin. I've been using it on my breakouts that I've been getting lately, and I think I've noticed a huge difference. Aloe vera gel is also really good for lightening dark spots. So I've stopped using what I was using before to lighten my dark spots. I've literally just been using this product and exfoliating very, very often. Yeah. So I take the grease lightening and I'll put it where I have any problem areas even if I don't have a big breakout there I'll put it on old breakouts I'll put it in areas that I usually break out which is my chin my jawline I'll put it all across here um, and then I'll put it on any active pimple I have an active pimple right here so I'll put it right there and then by like tomorrow I'll see a huge difference in this pimple. I don't have a moisturizer right now to recommend to you guys. I have been using sunscreen, my Kiss My Face sunscreen in the daytime because I work outside. So I use that as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. I don't double it up. I'll do the same process in the morning. Wash my face, tone my face, then put the grease lightening on for any active breakouts. And then I'll put on my sunscreen. At night, I'll just do wash, tone, grease lightening, and I won't put on a moisturizer. If you guys have a favorite moisturizer that you like for nighttime, if you have oily, acne-prone skin, please comment down below because I am always looking for things for oily, acne-prone skin. I have a couple that I'm trying out right now, but I'm still trying them out. Some by Lush, others by a couple of other brands trying them out so I don't want to tell you guys yes or no on that yet but this is what I've been doing so far to keep my skin clean and clear and under control <laughs> why did I just say that that's all guys thank you so so much for watching any comments questions leave them down below give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it's your first time seeing me and definitely enter that giveaway if you have natural hair and you want to try out some dope products bye Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend it all the money.